Let's just say, like, if you're on PR, you usually only lose to only other PR PR. Yeah, that's, that's let's, true. let's just put it that way. But here we go. <laughs> the Wii Fit Trainer is back online again. Uh, Wii Fit Trainer did receive some significant buffs. Uh, most notably, from what I've seen on Twitter, is that jab hitbox, the berry one, is yeah. much larger now. So you're able to be able to set up kill comforts of that much more reliably. I mean, this is a character that I tell people, like, there are a lot of characters that can be high tier, but just no representation, and Wadi finally putting it out there. Sheena goes for a quick absorb, getting some percent for himself here, and able to come back, but Wadi on the return to the stage. Yeah. Watch yourself, Shinee, because that's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, Wadi's one of those players that really likes to experiment and use up a lot of characters. He's been talking about, oh, Mewtwo got some buffs, uh, Weezy oh, Trainer yeah. got some buffs, he liked playing Rosa earlier on, and he won an MSM with Rosa oh. for crying out loud, like, yeah. It's like you kind of forget that Wadi even plays Rob sometimes. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's like, yo, man, I only put out Rob on the weekends. Rob is the weekend warrior, and out here so far, Shinna looking like the weekday warrior, looking to turn things around. There's the fourth throw. PK fire. He's doing that so he can force Wadi to go low here. But Wadi just kind of holds his cards, goes for the volleyball. He gets hit by the tail, sends off the stage. Wadi has to go low. Is there the two for him? No. The hitbox there from the down smash will come through. Oh, I like that. He used Headbutt to make Shine a little bit more hesitant on how he gets that. Not able to find the up smash, and he just kind of gives a face like, yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay, goes for the forward there. Not going to do much yet. There's a dash attack. Not able to catch PK Fire. Uh, he's not quite getting that two frame. Unfortunate. Not able to steal out the stock yet, but there we go. The fair will be able to close it out. Facing around each other, trying yeah. to figure out how to get in. You gotta watch out when you get hit by the up air or the neutral air. I'm sorry, the neutral air from Wii Fit Training because it does cross up. Yeah, that is a big combo starter as well. Mm -hmm. It's basically the same thing as he was in, uh, Smash, in 4. Smash 4. Yeah, that's one of his big combo starters. Crazy man, John Numbers doesn't even use this character anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big Nair. Not able to set up. Oh, but he gets a second one. So much damage off of that. Those abs, man. They yeah, just uh, crunch you so hard. That's yeah. why it hurts, bro. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's what we saw elegant. <laughs> that's what we that's what we saw Con Con and Cyro man. They they flexing too. Yeah. That's some in the air. Special right. edge guard scenario. Huh. Still using the volleyball. There's a Zare train all the way across the stage, but no nothing just yet. Fourth throw? Yeah. He's getting so consistent at those Zare trains, man. <laughs> like before you like mess it up before on like before he gets the final corner character. Mm -hmm. But now he's just like carrying him across the stage all day, man. Good trip up here and goes for the upper. He's him on the corner. Up throw, I'm sorry, up air. Yeah, falling off. Body watched the landing here and he's finally able to get the sun salutation. There's the dash attack and of course the boost that you get from it. Able to take the stock with that yeah. one. Watch me as I demonstrate. <laughs> and he gets a deep breathing and he gets so much damage off of that. Able to kill ridiculously early. That, that's the one it was called, man. I call it sun salutation. So that's the other one. That's, that's, deep, a, that's, that's a neutral breathing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's deep breathing. Alright, good tag. Not gonna get tag chased at all. She just looking for these up airs on the landing. Up throw. Okay, I like the up throw attempt. All right, what's the last option gonna be? Not able to quite catch him, but he gets a neutral air out of shield. That'll do just fine. And he's trying to keep up the momentum right now. But Wadi just being very patient, looking for his right opportunity to oh. make it back and base out the down smash with that double jump. Fades back, able to make it back to the stage without getting too much damage on him. And you do, you do uh, start yourself a little bit when you go for the volleyball, all oh, the front hitbox from the up smash. Not gonna come the forward smash here. That'll come out. He's forcing Shane to go low for those recoveries. It's so smart for Wadi because he knows he doesn't want him to go for the tether grab. He wants him to go for the PK Thunder. Gets enough time for Sun Salutation, almost gets the jabs. Yeah, I like that he uses the four, or excuse me, jab and four tilt because jab has a back hitbox on the leg as he sticks yeah. it out. So he's able to cover both sides and the roll as well. And it's also good that Wally, like I said earlier, right, Wally keeps going for the volleyball toss because it is going to force you to go for that low recovery and a low, low there. Some salutation. Wow, that was actually really brave. Uses the deep <laughs> breathing right in front of Shine as he's trying to approach him in the air, just saying, okay, you know what? Go ahead. Try and, try and attack me. Oh. And he gets right out of it. Oh, the pivot grab, not quite going to work. The dash attack comes in, headbutt, and the potential edge guard. What does he go for here? Down there. Oh, so close. Almost gets a two frame. Back throw? Back throw? Not gonna kill here. Yeah, not quite enough. Later on, he can potentially go for up throw. PK oh, Thunder, gonna keep careful. him off stage. Whoa, no way. That won't kill, that won't kill. Oh, that actually took him Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, you sure, bro? He's pretty up for off stage. <laughs> like, I don't know about that, man. Is Shina gonna take the first game there? 
Yeah, Muffin from Mars did tell me about like how you can carry opponents with PK Thunder, and it involves you hitting them with the main. I think it's the main ball and the tail, and then you drag them there. That's how I was actually able to take it. Uh, oh wait, I, I, he's in the chat right now. He yeah, says I yeah. told him to use that. S <laughs> <word>. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Muffin from Mars, man. He puts in work with the character. I'm not gonna lie. He's watching Shine right now. He's yeah. like, this is my child. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this is what I've so created. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. And, and, and it's funny too, because Shine and Muffin from Mars always exchange information about Lucas. Muffin from Mars is probably one of the best so solo Lucas mains out here in SoCal. Mm -hmm. Shine, of course, still mains counter pick, but he puts in work with Lucas for sure. Of course, Muffin from Mars always looking out for his boy, especially when he's out there getting the W's here. But of course, Shine still has the L in the name. Can he get the grand finals reset? And immediately, Wally starts off with a grounded jab. Yep. Okay. Yeah, already starting off very strongly here. But that's kind of how the story of the first game went too. He was starting off very strongly, and then Shine was just able to bring it back around and then catch him with oh, a man. very interesting last Be stock at the end. Be relentless with that, but that down air gonna cause that option. Oh Ooh, no! Unfortunate. Shine just kind of falls inside his chair. <laughs> it's like, don't look at me! Don't look at me right now! <laughs> I'm sorry, Muffin. <laughs> I let you down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Zare, not quite able to bait out a double jump or immediate response back to the stage. Just waits it out. Wadi very aware of the options that Lucas has available to him. I feel like most of it might be because Pinkfresh plays this character too, so he might just be experienced in this matchup in general. I haven't even seen Pinkfresh play in the local in a hot minute. I mean, that's just me, but immediately Shane looking to give Lucas the representation he probably wants to give him. Of course, Mekos is actually ranked in this region as number one player, but yeah. I know Muffin's really mad to hear me say that. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the neutral air on the shield. Pretty solid spacing here. And he's able to drift away. Oh no, directional air dodge. Throw out the air. No. Oh, okay, not quite. Uh, sometimes when you're in that position, when you're like just behind the ledge of the stage, it's hard to run off and just get yeah. back there because you have to like double jump to reposition yourself. Very smart positioning from Shine to be able to recover fine. Upper not quite going to be able to do it, but still catching the trades. Works out just fine. Oh, not able to find the headbutt though. Wadi just keep continuously keeping this up this lead though. Gets away from the grab. Smart option there because if you're at the ledge, that's what Lucas can get against you. Back throw would kill. Oh great punish on the return. Up throw. That's a solid option at that percent. We'll definitely take care of it. He's gonna have to go for back throw at that point of the stage. Yeah. The Nair trains potentially. Not quite. The back throw one more time. Oh, tries to snipe him out with a headbutt. Not quite. Shine ready for it. There's and again, that positioning that we talked about. Oh, the single jab. There. Oh, no two frame. And it comes back with the Zares. You got to be careful there when you're at the corner. <sighs> Missed the portal. Yeah, great match right there. He was at a high percent, so it must be difficult to come out of that. But Shine going to keep himself alive here. Just being very patient with each other, just trying to figure out how to make their way in, trying to use that PSI magnet. Oh, okay, just run up and sun salutation. That'll work just fine. Oh, these up airs. Shine is so relentless. He's never giving up. Space forward air, but that's not going to be it. Trying Wadi to find it. Oh, oh my god, these nares. The crunches again. Oh, the cat oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> yo, yo, man, be careful out there, man. Be careful. Yeah, you gotta be careful. And all of a sudden, I just blinked, and Shine is at 92% on his last stock here on this oh. second game. Shine is. He's had a lot of technical flubs here, too, as well. There's a Zan, but he missed the opportunity. And of course, Wadi able to see that missed option, and he goes for the back air. Yeah, that Understanding was he might have gone across up. That second Zan was probably the, the double. The double jump cancels yeah. there that he was looking for. Not quite able to find it, unfortunately. And I'm so sorry, Muffin. I know you don't want to hear the name, but Mekos is ranked number one with Lucas in North Carolina in his season. Uh, so pretty pretty strong stuff just showing out some Lucas names out there. I haven't seen Pink Fresh, man. I don't even know that. I haven't even seen Boss from MDVA, man. MDVA, where's Boss? Where's Boss at? I'm not all hiding him. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep hiding this player named Boss. Nah, man, nah, man, nah, man. Boss hides himself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Game 3. Going back to FD. Back to the stage that he won on. So let's have to see if he keeps up that consistent win. Because it was very close that last time around. Alright. Uh, nice. Good, uh, good neutral area into the up tilt. Definitely knows that Wadi knows the combo percents with those would work. Sun Salutation immediately just goes into shield mode. I call it shield mode because I'm so used to seeing Nico at this level here, but this time it's Wadi and Shine. 
Yep. Nico out, losing out to Shine actually, the DK. Mm -hmm. Nico did talk about he was going to go out Joker, but... <laughs> yeah, man, I, I consider that a legitimate win, man. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. I would too. Oh, just spacing right outside of each other. That forward tilt's not quite connecting. Wow, <laughs> just right outside of the spacing for each other, but that jab finally going to be able to connect. Offstage presence, what's going to be? Not quite finding that back air, but the forward tilt, oh, slap him right out of there. <laughs> Have you ever okay. tried doing that pose? It's so difficult yeah, to do that really one. Man. I can't even touch my toes, man. And we've been trainers out fighting with these poses, man. <laughs> the what crunches, you? man. <laughs> can you do three crunches that fast? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> no, heck no. All right, well, here we go. 55% uh, already on Tashine. Trying to do those tilts into a potential jab or grab. Not quite able to find it, though. And again, Wadi's just been able to be so good oh. at catching on the air to airs, the crunches, and just catches the air dodge at the very last moment, too. And that's what we kind of saw him, like... Uh, do some small pivots there because he was looking to get that micro spacing we'll get on, Sh on Shine. Tech chase situation, not able to find it. The rolls and the spot dodges work out just fine at the right timing. Wadi gonna try and roll away with the lead this time around too. And again, the crunches into the out there. Man, so, much damage. so much ab work, back throw. That's not gonna take it, but it does give Shine the stage to work with. PK Thunder, he goes for the upper, makes the choice here, and he's able to get Wadi on the return. Yep, it's not even matching. Well. Not even matching will be able to allow him to get back. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, I was surprised. I would be surprised if Shina did not go for PK Thunder at that point. Mm -hmm. And that move is pretty hard to tech too, because you think to yourself, when am I gonna get launched into this <laughs> right. wall? Is it this part or is it this part? <laughs> and you're never quite sure. So at that time, you just kind of have to accept that at that point. Four tilt trades right there. One more opportunity, just charge the Sun Salutation in his face. Both of them know the mix-up game there with the PSI Magnet available. He can potentially get a lot of health, but if he keeps charging, then he has it available to him. Exactly. Tries to go for the landing, Mooch Air, and immediately Shine jumps out. They want to get crossed up. There's the forward throw. Into the volleyball! Yo, man! You playing sports out here! Yeah, press the button instead of air dodging. That's how I'm <laughs> getting a little bit too greedy to get back to the stage. What's the option going to be? And he goes down for it. That's going to be a ledge grab. Doesn't opt to go for it, though! Oh. And landing Mooch Air! That did it! Yo, at that percent, man, it's got to kill. <laughs> Something's got to kill, right? <laughs> it's a combo move. It kills. Cross-ups. It gives you abs. <laughs> Yo, man, it's everything. That move is everything. Yeah, no, man. Alrighty. Here we go. Wadi up 2-1 against Shine. Shine With yet the to get trainer the... flex. Yeah, yet to get the reset on him. Yeah, man, don't let the, man, don't let the names confuse you, though. Shine is the one in losers, and Wadi's the one in W. The names are a little bit reversed, but don't worry about that. Ah, oh, Shine finally gonna go ahead and say, man, hold up. Let me yeah, go, let me go back to Counterpick. Yeah, this is the character that I won and beat Nico, Eon with today, and K9. Yeah. So let's go and see. Going back to Battlefield. But I still, I still respect the Lucas, right? Because that's how you got the first point on the board here. Yeah. Although, at the same time, he is a very big hitbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse me, hurt box. <laughs> so that's just going to be a lot of ab work going in against DK here. Already 77%. We'll have to see how long he keeps up the string for. Not only that, it's it's also good for Wadi because he actually, like we saw him earlier against Lucas, he mixed up his timing with his recoveries too. So when he is off stage, he can still do that. There's the directional air dodge. Good opportunity after going for Sun Salutation and the spacing on the forward smash, but he doesn't get it. For yeah, there it goes for the. He should be able to make it back. Yeah, he, he will. He will. He will. Mm -hmm. As I'm talking about, like, he can actually, like, mix up his recoveries, but he mixed it up a little bit too low and too late. Yeah, I think that headbutt might have actually harmed him more than helped him because it just stalled him in the air and Shine had enough time. Yeah. He's really able to avoid the soccer ball very easily, but wow, that's going to be able to close out the stock. <laughs> the, the, the double roll there. If you guys are wondering, roll was actually significantly much more nerfed uh, last patch. Yeah. Made it so that uh, you're more vulnerable than before. <laughs> Even more so. Oh, but that leg work. The leg work and the footwork coming out here from Shine. Definitely trying to keep his feet climbing onto the ground. Neutral airs out of the shield and Wadi nowhere near them. Here's this volleyball, sun salutation. <laughs> you gotta really watch all the return, man. The yeah. balls do bounce. And I admire how Shine was very hesitant to try and land on the platform. Wanted to know when he was exactly safe so he would be able to come back down and try and bring things back around. These two at even percents right now. Oh wow, just gonna grab him right in front of his face. <laughs> and he kinda went for an end to help. You can tell that Shino's trying to stall out the back air just to get a perfect on the shield, but he risks so much just waiting for so long. Oh, and the four tail, not quite gonna work. You, I will say, bro, you're, you're good, fam. At that point, like, just start your, start your recovery here and you'll be fine. There it is. Yep, and there's a hitbox on the hula hoop, so you gotta be careful about that. 
try to do another landing there, but the up tilt will be able to anti air that out. Oh, saluted yeah. the sun <laughs> and it paid off. Yep, you just gotta be careful. As DK, you usually wanna hit the ledge, and that means forcing yourself to drop below the platform, and you're usually vulnerable from that point in time. So then you can get hit by a fast moving projectile. I'm be real with you, man. I know it's a terrible tangent, but Sunny D was the worst orange juice I've ever had in my life. Saluting the sun for Sunny D was terrible, <laughs> but let's, let's go back into it. Hold yeah, on. but we can salute that DK back air, putting him off stage one more time, oh, potentially yeah. trying to get the edge guard. He's real deep off stage. Oh, oh okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, yeah, he, he got saved, saved him. him. <laughs> yeah, it's a force of habit because you want to yeah. recover, and that back air going to be able to close it out, but he took a lot of damage because of it, too. And the thing about the thing about the recovery with Weefa Trainer is you actually have to time it now. Mm -hmm. It's not like you have to mash it. If you actually get the right timing, you'll be able to recover much higher. Yeah. There's the upper sensing. He might have been trying to go for the platform. Great cover from Wadi. Yeah, Sun Salutation mm -hmm. available. And Deep Breathing going to be gone for a little bit. You see that as you use it more often, the charge is a lot slower. So he's checking to see how his stat is on it. And so far, oh. not quite doing so well. Two gonna grabs. throw him off, yeah. Small heal gets the deep breathing here and the buff and the sun salutation to go for it. Shine going for the dong punch at the corner. Not gonna play out for his favor. Yep, that's gonna be yeah. the stock. Nice and there's Simpai happy, as always, that Wadi wins, of course. Yeah. Back to the back to the real prize.